So I thought I'd seen everything, but this is absolutely brilliant. It's called Loop Flip and just check it out. It is really cool. So the way it works is you need to be in a session mode and you can use up to eight different tracks. So what I've done is I've brought in random drum tracks like a bass drum. I brought in some hi-hats. I've brought in some snares, bass, synth bass, and guitar. I've grouped them together into a group like this and then I've added at the end of it is you can load all of the tracks that are in there. So at any stage you can pick any of these different tracks and put them into different positions or I can go into samples here and just select any kind of random instrument. So we'll just take a random guitar here and we'll just replace that melody guitar with a different guitar and then we'll go into loop flip and we'll reload the tracks and you'll see that there it is. It's just picked it up. So the way it works is you just go in, click generate like that and you can see these different patterns appear and and we can go into arrangement mode and it will just literally create different patterns in the arrangement modes and different loops. So let's just click on randomize all and click generate again and you can see here it's just generating new patterns and loops and we keep going and going and going and it's fantastic. So you can change either the pattern so you can keep all of the loops and modifiers. I'll tell you what the modifiers are in a second and you can also just change the loop which is what basically tells you what the starting position is. So I don't want to keep talking here. Let's actually hear how it sounds. So basically this is how it's going to sound if we just generate again. This is kind of random. Okay, let's just generate again a couple more times. Okay, I've got swing set to three. We can just reduce that to two and click on generate again. Now, if we want to reduce the amount of clips in there, we can just re reduce the density. And you can see that's changed it already. Let's just reduce it one more bit. I think it sounds really good with swing, but if we want to say, for example, change here, any of these modifier effects, we can go ahead and change the extend notes feature, which basically shows you how long the notes are. You can actually see them changing length or rotate, which is the same as extend notes, but it kind of randomly changes the length of the notes. We've already talked about density. We've already talked about swing. We've got 16 steps in the sequence and we have also rotate, which is an interesting function. Rotate will just change, will keep everything the same, but change the starting position. So let's just do that. You can just see there that it's just going to change and move the starting position. And it happens also in the pattern here. So you have two pages as well. So if you only stick to one page, what will happen is it will just give you one page of notes here. And if you stick to two pages, you can see here the loop extends out and we can generate loops for two pages. The second page will be slightly different. And you can, for example, modify the extension of notes and rotate on each page to be slightly different. And you've got legato feature, which means there's no gaps. But if you do want to make the tracks monophonic, select the monophonic selection here for every track. Let's just generate. So those tracks are now monophonic. And also has this other thing called align tracks. What that means is one thing will not start without the other. One track will not start without the other. So let's just generate there. You can see the alignment is one goes before the other for those specific tracks. And some of these are monophonic. Let's just take a listen to that. <laughs> Okay, you're probably thinking, it doesn't sound amazing, but actually you can generate some incredible loops from this by adding it to a drum loop. So let's just add it to this drum loop here. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep everything the same, but we're gonna just change the pattern. Let's increase that density so we've got more sample length and more samples coming through. Let's go and randomize all. The other thing you can do is you can go half time. So this kind of slows it down by half but extends the loop. Let's just get the notes extended like that. So that's really super cool. It's very easy to get a working loop really with this. 
Now you can use something like that. Let's just generate a new one. And we can, for example, add a baseline here. So I've got Sting, which is a free Max for Live tool. So let's just take a listen. Let's reduce the density on Sting. Go back to Diva here and we'll just change the density here. So yeah, I mean, just using that with the loop flip, using that with a drum sample, any type of drum sample, what you can do then is also go into arrangement mode and just store that or just generate that loop, keep that loop, and then use the same instruments and create another loop. And then you can start using arrangements to create a full song. So I think it's a very, very, very exciting and very, very interesting Max for Live tool, loop flip. Check it out check my description because there'll be a link to loop flip if you do want to buy it and support this channel. Bye.